Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about bewegli contest eight, um, fourth question. So we have a matrix of size with with times eight, and then every cells inside have either a value of zero or one, and any square sub matrix uh, of the of that matrix uh, with size of uh, side length times side length can have at most maximum number of one equals max ones. So see the first example um, we have matrix of three times three and then sub matrix of two times two so all any of the sub matrix of two times two inside that three times three, three matrix can have at most one number of one okay so this will be one of the matrix here um, as you can see the every two times two matrix there will be having one number of one at most okay so you can see uh, here right and yeah so in the whole three times three array you can put at most four number of one inside and take a look on the second example so with and hey also same three times three and then the sub array is two times two and then you can have at most two number of two in uh, the two times two sub matrix so the answer will be six so this is the array that can be formed so let's see here the second example so every two times two will have at most two number of one inside yeah so that is the second example so how are we going to solve this question um, first we can divide the array the matrix I mean so by the number of uh, whole subarray and then the rest of it okay and then we put index on each of them so yeah 0 1 2 3 4 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 and then we continue it so even though for the rest of for the modulo part it's also also we can imagine it something like this right but this thing here doesn't exist okay so yeah after we put index on all of the sub sub array then we can determine like zero show up the most frequent here like nine times and one show up uh, six times right and then four also four show up only four times and three show up um, six times here okay so this frequency of show up the most frequent one is zero and then the next most frequent one is either one or three or two right so that then that we can determine where we should put our one in the entire array so if we have at most one number of one then all the zero will become we, we can put uh, one there okay and so on so let's take a look on the code so maximum number of one so first i have a sub array of uh, we ha i have an array of size side length time side length and then i look through the entire matrix to determine how many number of zero one two three four and so on so the index zero zero how many times it show up here like the the square the sub the square of the first part let's say the i equals zero right i modulus side length and j modulus side length equals zero zero so it will be this okay yeah and we add up the frequency and then basically after that we have a priority queue so we look through the entire um, square of size side length and then put it to the priority queue with a priority um, descending we get from the highest priority first okay and what is the output so the output of total is equal to depends on how many number of ones we want to take from the most frequent one until the less frequent one so in our case we will take from zero and then take the one take the two and then take the three and then four and five 
is less frequent like only four times here right the five also only four times so yeah that's it for this question thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest